Hey you guys, it's Christina. Today is March 11th and it's my 28th birthday. I was born on March 11th, 1987 on 1111 Brecken Hall at 1111 p.m. 11 has always been my lucky number or a number that has always had special significance for me. Because this is a special day for me and because it's my birthday, I wanna share with you what I have learned this year that has made me into a better, stronger, more spiritual, more grounded, and more loving person. For the first time in my life, I truly feel like I am living. <laughs> and that doesn't always mean that things are perfect, that just means that I have learned to accept myself where I am, and I have learned to celebrate all of the moments that I experience, the ups, the downs, and all that's in between. Each experience for me has become a growth opportunity, a humbling experience and a life lesson worth sharing. If I have learned anything about eating fully raw, it is that a clean body reaps a clean mind and a free spirit. I am a free spirit and I have learned to have confidence in that and have learned to take responsibility for me, all of me and love all of me. This is truly incredible. No matter who you are or where you are at in your life, you can appreciate your life. You can appreciate the air that you are breathing. Take a moment each day to experience life to the fullest. I want to share with you what I have learned the past year and in the past 28 years of my life. Here are my 11 rules for happiness. I can only be me and you can only be you and that is always good enough. No one can be you better than you, and no one can be me better than me. Own it, feel it, celebrate it, love you, express yourself. Do this every day. It's a challenge, but if you take 30 minutes every day to do something that you enjoy, you are spending quality time with yourself. You're nurturing yourself and your passions. You will find yourself much happier. Time with loved ones is worth more than anything money could ever buy. Time with people, family, and friends, not online or via social media, but truly connecting with people on an intimate level. I've lost so many loved ones in my life, and sometimes I think that if I could go back in time and spend just one more day with them and not have worried about the petty things around me, that quality time would have been far more celebrated. The thing is, we can never go back in time. We can only celebrate and soak up each moment now, in this moment. Live each moment as if it were your last. Time with your loved ones is priceless. In the craziest of moments, just breathe. Beauty radiates from within. Sit still and find your peace. It can be hard to find peace inside of your head, especially when everything feels like it's very loud in your head. But take deep breaths, get grounded. Remember that you are beautifully and wonderfully made, just as you are. Give your trust to those who are willing to fight for it. It can be hard to open up to people, but just remember that good friends who stick with you in the hard times are the ones who deserve to celebrate the good times with you as well. True friendships are unconditional. True friends will love you and stand by your side no matter what. The only way to be happy is to truly love life, the beautiful moments and the ugly ones. Each moment is a growth opportunity. If you're ever faced with a challenge, trust that it is happening for a reason. Whatever is presented before you is there to help you be a better person. It's not always easy, but when you embrace each experience and love it for what it is, understanding that there's no right or wrong, the experience will help you. Think of yourself like a tree. The more that you go through, the more grounded and stronger that you become, and the taller you will grow. Vulnerability is powerful. Showing the real you, the exposed you to the world is sometimes scary, but it is also empowering. It's honest. Never be afraid to let yourself really be seen. Within that, you will overcome fears, find yourself, and become stronger. 
Forgiveness is freedom. Having resentment towards someone is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. It can literally eat you alive inside. To truly have peace within, it's necessary to forgive. It's also okay to say that you're sorry. Clear the air, release those negative emotions. It will free you from within. It's not about how many times you've been knocked down, but it's about how many times you've gotten up. One of my favorite movie lines of all time was from Batman when Alfred said, why do we fall? So that we can learn to pick ourselves back up. Similarly, don't be afraid to fail because what if you learn to fly? It's okay to cry and cry some more. I've never been a crier. God has weeded my garden plenty this year. He's gone in and he's forced out the thorns and although it has felt weird and sometimes painful, he has left me with beautiful roses. The most difficult part has been learning to trust and open my heart to acceptance and faith. You will love, you will get hurt, you will laugh and give and cry and heal and smile. You'll experience sadness and joy. And understanding that relationships may come and go, the most powerful relationship that you have is between yourself and God. Good health and balance become an essential part of your happiness. Love yourself. Never be afraid of the rain, because without the rain, the flowers cannot grow. You may not have control over what happens to you, but you do have control over your reaction. How do you want to react? Keep in mind that what happens to you is not a direct reflection of what you did sometimes, but it's maybe a challenge or a test of how to respond. Let the beautiful you shine through and inspire others through greater peace and love. For one to become stronger, one must first choose strength. And my last and final rule for happiness, number 11, is that you do not need anyone to make you feel worthy. You must do that yourself. Self-love is so important. Take responsibility. Give yourself that attention. Give yourself that peace and joy and love inside. I cannot stress this enough. You are worthy just as you are. And the first step to happiness is believing that. This is it, my friends. Thank you for your unconditional love. I am so honored to be able to share this day with you right here, to share my life with you. I appreciate your love and support more than you can possibly ever know. If you guys have appreciated this video and if you like these rules for happiness, please give it a thumbs up. And if you need more tips, tricks, or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe here to Fully Raw Christina as we have fun getting happy together. If you guys want to follow me daily, you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Fully Raw Christina. All right, you guys, I'm going to go and celebrate my birthday today with a big feast, and I'm sure I'll be posting that a little bit later, and I hope that you guys get to go and celebrate this day as well. Sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, happy birthday to me. We're, we're rocking this. We're going. I'm 28 years old. Does that mean I'm almost 30? I'm like the youngest 30 ever. I'm not 30 yet. It's okay. <laughs> okay. That was awesome.